What is going on guys, Mr. Viting Gaming here, coming at you with a brand new tier list. Now, now, I know what you're all thinking, okay? Bison, are you going through a midlife crisis? What have you done with your head? Well, guys, we completed our charity stream and raised just enough money so that my head got cut. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Right, now that we got that elephant out of the way, let's get on with the video. Boom! So today's tier list, boys, is going to be all of the skills in RuneScape. We have all of the skills. We're going to be putting them into the tiers S, A, B, C, and D because I couldn't think of any good names. If anybody has any tier list they want me to do, please recommend some names for them as well because it is very difficult to think of names for the tiers. Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm going to be starting off with a D tier for me and there are no shockers here to be honest there's only two it's going to be a rune crafting and it's also going to be agility these two skills for me annoy the hell out of me they always have annoyed the hell out of me i think they're such a drag uh agility not so much because it's got a lot of new stuff and there's loads of different ways to get around doing agility now but rune crafting i still think is a really slow skill to train in general i find it Again, there's not really a reason for it. The only thing I can think of as an Iron Man player is the doubles are quite nice, but you can buy runes. If you make money, and as everybody knows, when you get into the high levels of an Iron Man account, runes come very easily. So that's the only reason I'm putting runecraft in here. It's, for me, it's not a skill that is worthwhile enough to go any higher. Agility, exactly the same. Once you get to 70, maybe 71 if you're boosting for like the Zora shortcut and an Iron Man. Nah, it's, it's more of like the achievement and the look. I will say though that both of the capes in my mind aren't that great. You know, access to all the altars, you get that with the abyss. You don't need a you don't need that on a cape. You know, and the agility cape, I'm pretty sure. So I just checked, it acts as a graceful cape. Already got one of them. It's called the graceful cape. That is gonna be my entire detail. Okay, guys, moving on to C tier. We're gonna kick it off with farming. I get the purpose of farming. I think farming is more useful to an Iron Man or a Harker account than it is a main. Uh, but personally, I kind of like farming. It's something you do in the background. It's a passive skill. You don't really get much from it. Uh, so that's why it's going there. You know, for me, big achievement. And the pet is awesome. The pet that you can get from farming, the Tangle Root. And also Hispori. Hispori is cool. I like Hispori, as you can tell. We've got a guide on Hispori. I will put a link to that up here somewhere, hopefully. But yeah, let's carry on. So also in this tier, I'm going to be putting fire making. I am I don't get the point in fire making. I think at the moment it is still a really abysmal skill on the old school RuneScape. I don't think there's much use to it. But winter tops fun and it's probably the fastest 99 in the game. Mine is like fletching. And yeah, that's why it's going in there. Okay, guys, two skills that I'm going to put in here now quite controversially. We're going to start with Hunter. Uh, um, I like Hunter as a skill. I just don't think there's a huge bonus to Hunter being a skill. You can get chins and stuff like that with an Iron Man, and it's really useful on an Iron. For mains, what is the purpose, apart from the chin pet and the herbie pet? I don't really see what mains do with Hunter, to be honest. It's just another kind of achievement that just sits on the wall. It's nice. It's just there. So yeah, it goes and see. You know what? Thinking about it, I'm also going to put cooking in here. Cooking's boring. That's the only reason. Cooking is a boring skill. I was thinking of putting cooking in B tier with a lot of other skills that I think you can all kind of gather that I'm going to be putting in B tier by now. But it's just boring. It's a necessary thing on an Iron Man or a Hardcore. And I think on a main as well, if you're doing the 99 fishing, you might as well go for 99 cooking at the same time. It's an all right skill. You know, it does the job. It's just there. Right, guys, onto the B tier. So we are going to be putting in basically the skills that i think you guys can guess are more resource based so we are going to start with crafting then we are also going to add in fletching mining smithing <laughs> it's kind of going to be repetitive guys wood cutting and fishing all of these skills in my mind are key to an account they all add especially to an iron man they all add a certain thing that you need whether it be for requirement, for a diary, a quest, or just in general resource collecting. On an Iron Man, we all know fishing is key. Uh, smithing, diaries, fletching, money, crafting, money, and also getting to the point you can make Zenites. So all of these skills in my mind 
go in B tier. They're all necessary, they're all needed. And to be fair, you've just kind of got to get on with them. Right guys, I've just realized there is one more skill that I haven't put here that in either B, C or D that probably belongs there. It's thieving. Thieving and agility are ridiculously hard to see on this layout of tier maker. But I'm going to be putting thieving surprisingly in B. When you're an Iron Man, and this is the problem, I've played an Iron Man account since Iron Man released. For me, I see all these skills as like an Iron Man would see them. Thieving is such a key skill. If you do 55 to 99 Thieving at RD Knights with Rogues, you're getting about 15 mil. That is amazing starter cash. And the fact that you can start Thieving whenever you want on an account means that Thieving deserves to be up here. It's an easy 15 mil, uh, 15 mil for an account with Rogues. And it can also bankroll a lot of other skills on an Iron Man. So yeah, Thieving, you're up here for me in terms of resource. Okay, guys, next up we have A tier. A tier is going to be... I'm pretty sure everybody's figured it out by now. We're going to put the comp. We're going to start with the combat stats. Um, combat skills of attack, defense, strength, and range. And I'm also going to be putting prayer in here. For me, these skills are just so necessary to group together. They're so needed within the game that they all deserve to be this high. Uh, the only reason a cut, uh, something like magic is missing from this tier for me, as I said, I'm an Iron Man. I look at this entire game from an Iron Man's perspective now. And for me, Magic, I'm sorry, Magic's S tier, guys. But while we're talking about S tier, let's just do the S tier as well. So we're gonna, we'll kick off with Magic because it's not surprising. Uh, for me, the only combat-related stat that deserves to be in S tier is hit points. Uh, construction, Herb Law, and of course, the Mighty Mighty Slayer. Now, let's go through all of these S tiers individually and why I've put them there. So Magic... Key point in the game, it's combat, easy money for Alkin, teleports, it's just a necessary skill. Um, it deserves more recognition than it gets 100%. Hit points, hit points is what dictates if you die or not on the game. Harker Iron Man's out there, I will do this for you and put hit points this high. Hit points are such a key factor in the, your account. It, it, it literally dictates if you live or if you die that for me deserves s tier i'm sorry if you're strong you're strong at the end of the day if you got that more you got more hit points you got more hit points you're gonna outlast a lot of other stuff so that is why it is going up there construction uh two words max house max house ends so much on this game the moment you get max house you've got tellies everywhere you know you fill up a portal nexus you've got like 30 different locations you can teleport to and you don't even have to think about it admittedly construction costs a lot all right but worth it herb law i'm doing this from the perspective of an iron man herb law is such a necessary skill people do not understand you know down to something stupid supersets you know the first moment you can use super attack strength defense pots ranging pots you know Brews, brews, super restores, prayer pots. It unlocks so much content on the account if you're an Iron Man. Herbal goes up there for that reason alone. You know, I'm not even talking anti fire so you can kill dragons. I'm talking those bare minimum essentials where it will take your hits from like 12 to like 30s, and you're like, holy shit! Like it's a new, it's a new game. Like you can just unlock a load of content. And Slayer, Slayer is by far the most key skill in runescape if you have a high slayer level the content you get is incredible you know fermi hydra cerberus there are so many good things hidden behind slayer and money slayer is by far the best way of making money on runescape if you're doing it passively and you just want levels perfect skill and that's the reason it's going that highly and yeah i guess that's kind of the tier list guys if you think i've misplaced any of these skills please let me know with a comment also, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Any video suggestions, please let me know either on my comments on YouTube, my Twitter, my Discord, anything. But yeah, have a good one, guys, and I'll see you all soon.